We've got a couple of nice goodies to have a look at today. Thanks, guys. Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, we've got a couple of nice goodies to look at. We have this Buck Boost uh, controller module sent in by James Coley. Thank you very much, James. And this uh, B-Side ADM-06 Mini uh, voltmeter, which was sent in by Marchin, who also sent in that LCR meter last week. So thank you to Marchin as well. Very cool. Let's start off with the uh, Buck Boost module. You can't zoom in here. You guys have better look at it. So we've got our inputs and our outputs. I'm glad. Probably this way. Inputs over here, in plus, in minus. You can either use the soldering pads or go through the terminal clamp. Output over here. We have a current control potentiometer and a voltage control potentiometer. And this is made by a company called Yemugio, Y-E-M-I-U-G-O. It's available on Amazon for $10.99. Major 68 millimeters by 40 millimeters by 23. And it claims a 95% uh, efficiency, which is incredibly high. So, uh, input voltage from 0.5 to 30 volts, and an output voltage of 5 to 30 volts. And it's got some little LEDs here, so let me zoom in on them. You see it says CC, CV, and full. So, if the red and the blue lights are on, we are in constant current mode. If it's just the blue light constant voltage, and in green mode it says charge full, which I assume it just switches into that when the device attached to the output stops taking any current. Because there's nothing that you can set anywhere. So, underneath this nice big heat sink are some components. And if we take a look at this picture up there, you can see what's going on. That big device with the white... Uh, heat compound on it is from NCE Electronics. It is the NCE uh, 6075 and it is an N-channel power MOSFET. And then again over here if you look you can see that little looks like an 8-pin device. It has its number obliterated. That's obviously the charge controller. Focus. Alright, let's hook it up and have some fun with it. Before we hook that up, I just want to let you guys know that Cyber City Circuits, right there at CyberCityCircuits.com, is having a sale on their toolkit. If you put in code Learn Electronics, all one word, you can get 10% off on their toolkit. If you're just getting started in electronics, that's a uh, nice little kit to help get you going with all the small hand tools that you might need. All right. We got our tech power power supply here, and that's what we're going to use to power this module. And then for testing, I have these three 1 watt LEDs hooked up in series. So I'm going to connect them to the board first. And then I'll, we'll take a look at the specifics for the LEDs so you can see where we're at. So the LEDs require 3 to 3.4 volts at 300 to 350 milliamps. So let's call it about 9.9 .9 to 10 volts. And you can see I've got the power supply set for 15.2 volts. Hook her up here. Okay, 
So I'll put this back here where you guys can actually see it. So you can see it is well and truly hooked up. And we are at 15.2 volts going in and 40 milliamps coming out. And I can adjust the current right here. If I can get my screwdriver in there, I'm kind of blinded by the lights. There we go. So that's maxed out at 210 milliamps. And then I can take it all the way down to where they won't even they won't even light. So let's see if we can get it right right around 100 milliamps. So we're at 100 milliamps at 15.2 volts. And then if we read the output voltage there, let's bring in this little nifty meter. Try and do this without bumping the camera. Almost had it. There we go. You guys can see we're at 9.06 on our output voltage. So as this is a buck boost module, if I bring this the voltage up, they're at 15.2. Now we're at 20.2. You can see our current went up just slightly. And I know you won't be able to see it because of that, but there's an LED right there. So I bring it in focus. And it's still blue. So we are still in our constant voltage mode. And if I bring the voltage down, remember we're not striking to a little over 9 volts. There, we're down to 5.9 volts and up to 280 milliamps. And now, you see the red light is lit there? It is in constant current mode. So where does it switch out of constant current mode? In this particular case, let's find out. right about 12.5 12.6 volts so this is good up to 120 watts that's not even warm to the touch seems like a nice module something fun to play with and hey at eleven dollars you know it's not too bad of a price to pay for something like this so thanks again Martin I really appreciate it and it's going to find some good use here all right, next up from James, thank you again, James, is the Mini Auto Digital Multimeter from B-Side. And again, the product number on that is ADM06, also available from Amazon for uh, $11.96. We'll take a quick look here through the manual. anything particular that jumps out at us. It has non-contact voltage. That's always good. Input polarity runs on two AAA batteries. Accuracy specifications. So at 2 volts we are down to 0 .001. At 20 volts we're at 0 .01. At 200 volts we're at 0.1. And at 600 volts we're at 1 volt. I don't know you'd want to be using this at 600 volts. But the accuracy uh, below 200 volts is 0.5% plus 3, and at 600 volts is 0.08 plus 5. So the minim minimum DC voltage it will read is a half a volt. Hmm. Kind of not perfect for electronics use. You know, home electronics use, you definitely want to be able to be reading millivolts. Input impedance is good at 10 ohms. Maximum voltage 600 volt DC or AC RMS. Over here we have our resistance readings. So it's good for about 1% until you get over 10 megs, in which case it's 1.2%. And the continuity buzzer less than 50 ohms. 
Okay, test current is 1 milliamp, open circuit voltage is 0.8 amp. That's about that. Let's have a look at some of its features and functions. So it turns it on. <laughs> uh, nothing to prop it up there. Let's see if we got a... There we go. The horse that it rode in on, right? Here is a 10-watt uh, resistor. Let's see what we get. Ten ohms reading point oh oh one. I'll get a good connection there. Point oh, there we go. So that seems pretty good for that. How about a uh, four hundred and seventy ohm Big Daddy resistor? That's a five watt resistor I'm using in one of my uh, guitar amp builds. Four six five, yeah, definitely close enough, right? Okay, so I haven't touched anything. Let's go and try and get a reading off of a battery. I don't even know if this battery has any charge in it. We will soon find out. Yeah, there we go. One point five seven volts. Of course, it's got these nice little protective dingle dongles on there. We'll take them off for our next test here. What we'll do is we'll hook it up to the power supply. Let me get you over there. Okay, there we are. And from the power supply, let's take her down. Seems pretty accurate, but you know, that is what you would expect for a modern digital multimeter with everything based off of an IC. It's not like they're using, you know, banks of resistor dividers like in the old days. Two volts looking good. Point eight, reading point four seven five. Let's take her up. Thirty point four, and it seems to update quite fast. So, all very good so far. Of course, it's not going to read capacitance. It just doesn't have that feature built into it. Nor does it read current. You know, it doesn't have the current shunts or any of that. It is rated up to 600 volts AC RMS, so let's uh, see what we got for a flavor of AC today here in Ohio. 125.2. And then if we can check out the NCV, non-contact. up here by my LED lights see as long as I'm holding the button it'll tell you whether a circuit is live so we're not going to find too much internally here it's going to be you know a single chip solution couple of uh, diodes and some resistors but you know what for twelve dollars this seems like a really nice little meter It's hand sized about the size of an old Nokia phone Got a nice, uh, not rubber, but a, a really smooth plastic. Again, runs on two AA batteries. Got a little flashlight. 
which works at the same time as a meter. Handy, you know, if you're checking a blown fuse in the dark or a breaker. When's the last time anybody <laughs> checked a fuse in their house, right? All right. Well, thank you guys so much for sending this stuff in. It's very kind of you. I truly appreciate it. And I'm sure you'll be seeing it in some upcoming videos. Remember, Cyber City Circuits, got that sale going on, 10% off. The code is Learn Electronics. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons and sponsors. And a big thanks especially to you right there in front of your laptop, on your phone, watching the YouTube. I appreciate you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.